3D Max for Indie and Maya for Indie is back cheaper than Cinema 4D. 3D Studios Max license retails for 1,545 a year or um, 195 per month as an ongoing subscription. This is the studio price that for many solo artists and smaller studios out there is a bit hard to acquire. The 3D Studios Max and Maya Indie license are available for 250 per year, which means both will cost 500. Before you get too excited, there are some downsides to it. Should I say downsides? Anyways, Autodesk has outlined the following requirements for anyone seeking an indie license. 1. Annual gross revenue not in excess of 100,000 USD per year. 2. One license per user or organization. 3. License limited to US, UK, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. Now, Autodesk is regarded as a leader in the 3D field when it comes to fair pricing for its products. They offer an incredible educational license program that allows free use of many of their popular programs. This includes 3D Max, Maya, Revit, AutoCAD, Inventor, Fusion 360, and many other software packages. These licenses require one to be a currently enrolled student and aren't very useful to fresh graduates and freelancers. The indie license clocks in around 20 dollars per month which should be doable for anyone generating income as a 3D artist. You don't get full access to their Autodesk catalog like the educational license provides but it's still far better than paying for the full $200 per month. I am not an author of confusion but another quick question. Why has Autodesk suddenly reconsidered an indie license to 3DS Max and Maya? The answer is Blender. Blender. The latest Blender update is killer and Autodesk has come to realize the need for a quick move to avoid Blender from continuing to steal more of their loyal customers. Okay, so I'm done. Peace out.